so why don't, don't we help one, one another? another? Even, Even at our distance, it can't take the same for our sisters and our brothers on this land. We will not be undermindful for we'll our sisters and our brothers. Raise our hands and our sons through the end of the world. Even when we be proud of who you are, not weak or weary. Be true be to yourself, because our joy is revolutionary. Be the light. Stand strong with all of your might. Like the sun rise, shine bright. Follow your heart to do what's right. Welcome to In Response, a concert honoring the voices of songwriters across the country. These songwriters have responded to the last year challenges and turmoil through their music, words, and vision for the world. My name is L. Steven Taylor, and I will be guiding us through this journey today. I'm a singer, actor, and also the host of Carnegie Hall's Musical Explorers program for elementary school musicians. All of the songwriters we will feature today are part of Carnegie Hall's community of learners and creators in the Wild Music Institute, the education and social impact arm of the Hall. Together, their voices contribute significantly to Carnegie Hall's online Voices of Hope Festival. The song that opened our show today was called Be the Light, and it was created and performed by the students at New Bridges Elementary in Crown Heights, Brooklyn, and their teacher, Alice Tsui. When we asked members of our community to respond to the past year through music, we received a wide range of responses. Together, these visions represent something greater than any of them does individually. In I Can't Breathe, high school student Amanda Seely shares her experience as a young black woman during last summer's protests against police violence while we see the visual art created by her classmates at Wobbly High School for visual and performing arts in Harlem, New York. And then we will see pianist and composer Maxwell Liu from Dayton, Maryland, and an alumnus from Carnegie Hall's National Youth Orchestra of the United States of America, share a musical portrait of the impact of the COVID-19 pandemic on the lives of young people across the country. Please enjoy. I can't breathe. I feel trapped in this world. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Is it just me? Cause I can't breathe. I feel stuck in a cycle full of violence. We try to rise up, but they want us to be solid. Shooting us down, one by one. License of registration and they pulling out a gun officer, please. My kid is in the car, they pull me out anyway and throw me on the floor. Me up on my neck, what a terrible way to go. But I tell my kids I love them while I die slow. I can't breathe. I feel trapped in this world, I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Is it just me? Cause I can't breathe. Looking down at my family from up above. Why they rioting and fighting, trying to show me love. Trying to fight for our rights, yeah, we want to be free. Stop the white cops from doing racist things. I can't breathe. I feel trapped in this world. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Is it just me? Cause I can't breathe. Tell us what we did to deserve this. Tell us why they y'all want to hurt us. Tell us what it is. Tell us what we did. Is it really just because the color of our skin? I can't breathe. I feel trapped in this world. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Is it just me? Because I can't breathe.
hard to know if it's just vacant or I'm alone when my only connection with my friends runs between our phones. When will the curtain fall? When will we make it through with the last call? Am I just waiting for a life I won't recognize? Sometimes these thoughts can linger long past their welcome stay. I put on a face of hope, but I ask myself each day When will life resume? We've all been on pause. Do I exist when I'm not on Zoom? How can I help the cause? There is no one solution, and it'll never be the same. The one thing that I know is true is it's the one to blame. Oh, we can change the game. 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 You may not be on the front line, but that doesn't mean we'll all be fine. My window shows me some not so superhumans, but some can't breathe. Will there be an end to this, or am I looking at my future? We gotta use our best judgment so we can see each other sooner. When will life resume? We've all been on pause. Do I exist when I'm not on Zoom? How can I? There is no one solution, and it'll never be the same. The one thing that I know is true is it's the one to blame. Oh, we can change the game. 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 When will life resume? Am I reaching into a void? Do I exist outside my room? What else can it destroy? When will life resume? We've all been on pause. Do I exist when I'm not on Zoom? How can I help the cause? There is no one solution and I'll never be the same. The one thing that I know is true is it's the one to blame. We can change the game. We can change the game, we can change the game, we can change the game. I'm here with Ruth Kendall, teenage songwriter from Long Island, New York. She wrote the next song, Impossible the Norm, as a way of expressing her pain at the struggle of African Americans in the United States. I'm delighted that Ruth was able to join us today to share more about her song. Ruth, can you tell us what this song is about? So, Impossible the Norm was inspired by racial injustice as well as recurring police brutality events and tragic killings of African American people, but also about the country of the pandemic in general. What I love about your song is that you have created these really poetic images like hearts on the ropes and memories floating. Why did you choose to approach a song in this way? Um, I think using poetic images in my song, such as memories floating, it kind of puts the listeners' minds in a state of scrutiny and like it really gives them like the ability to criticize or like be in a mindset that criticizes something. So I think by doing that, it lent the readers to both my perspective and potentially like someone else's as well. Here is Ruth Kendall's song, Impossible the Norm. work with what we're given 
let's make impossible the norm. I will fight it out. I will be a leader when the times are tough. Show them that we're bigger. Rainy days will come. More than just a reason. I will fight for you. Lately, memories floating, handcuffs closing. Will they ever save me? And we're silent to the violence, they still call us crazy. Will they ever save me? Save me. I will fight it out. I will be a leader when the times are done. Revolution is carried by the oppressed who live in the shadow of hatred. Their will be done. Ashe. We just heard from composer, instrumentalist, and teacher Elijah J. Thomas from New York City and member of Carnegie Hall's Music Educators Workshop. He wrote his piece, towards Uhuru as a way of creating a healing space of contemplation and catharsis. Just as some people respond to the circumstances around them, others are moved to make statements about how they see themselves in the world of political activity. Our next performance is a recording of the song, Our Power, with a spoken word performance by high school student, Nia Eckstein. I'm so glad to have Nia and her teacher, Briny Price, here with us today to share their perspectives. Hi, Nia. Hi, Briny. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Nia, tell us where the poem you recite comes from. What are you trying to say with it? 
the poem I wrote, um, Our Power, it was basically for me to have a way in, in the world. Because being 15 years old in America is hard as is. And then also on top of that, I'm a black young lady. So there's a lot of pressure from society for me to fit a certain standard that I didn't want to fit. And I wanted to be outside of the box because for my whole life, everybody's always told me that I wasn't perfect, that I can never be perfect and that I cannot be who I want to be and express who I want to be to everybody outwardly. So I decided to write this poem as a way to show the world that, yes, I'm black. Yes, I'm 15. And yes, I am still living in this world that's mainly corrupted by society's ideal ideas. And what does it feel like to perform your poem? It is the greatest opportunity ever because I never thought that I would get the chance to show the world my talents because once again, everybody doubted me as a young, when I was younger and I was singing, dancing, doing anything, any type of art. And so for Carnegie to give me this great opportunity changes my whole perspective. So thank you. And Bryony, your students have several songs on today's program. Why have you chosen to prioritize this work in your school? The music program at our school is, is pretty new uh, and we, we don't necessarily have like a bunch of resources yet or um, much infrastructure for that. But our students are incredible and they have really important things to say. Um, in a very unprecedented year amidst the pandemic of coronavirus, amidst the social justice movements, which are ongoing. Our students have experienced so much that is really unprecedented for um, students of their age in our history. And they have response to that. And it's just so encouraging that the World Music Institute really cultivate this work across um, you know, New York City and beyond. And it's just been so exciting to see my students kind of run with this opportunity and, and share their perspectives. What do you think young musicians are learning when they create their own songs to share their ideas and beliefs? I, I'd love to say that they're learning you know, technical musical skills about production and putting songs together and pieces together. But actually, I think that they have everything they need within them. I think that this is just a reminder that their voices matter, that their futures matter, that their lives matter, and that we want to hear their voices. And so it's just really encouraging to me when, um, when I get to hear like Nia's incredible words um, in collaboration with some of the talented musicians or vocalists that we have. And I think that really they're just being reminded that their voices are important and that we, we need to listen to what they have to say. I can't wait to see Nia's song and yours too later on, Bryony. Here's a performance of Our Power by Nia Eckstein, Sky Jones, and Tristan Falvey. Enjoy. <laughs> P-O-W-E-R power, P-O-W-E-R power, my blackness, my power, my melanin, my power, I have died, I have risen, they have died, they have risen, we have died, we have risen, what has happened to this generation, you dropped the white to be dripped and dipped into blue, who are you to tell me that where I was born is not my home, but alas it is not my final home, I am one with my ancestors, I am one with the sun, I am one, I am the night, the light, I am the sun, the one that shines so bright, I am the one that takes the power, that takes the cake, that takes the crown from the crowd, you can never take me down. 
because my power is something that can't be seen, something that can't be stolen. It can't be stolen and taken back and, you know, given at and it's an attack on who I am and who I used to be. I am solid. I am whole. You can never break me because my blackness builds me up and makes me who I need to be, who I need to be in order to be free. Your constitution limits me, but how are you limiting me when I'm bound to do greatness, bound to do great things by the earth, by the conqueror of my God, of my treasurer, of myself? P-O-W-E-R power, P-O-W-E-R power, my blackness. This is my opinion. And a world of negativity, separation, isolation, loneliness, brings numbness, sadness, and depression. Sounds of unkindness, disdain, hatred, and not knowing which way to go. People in huge crowds fighting every day, nothing but animal instincts of chaos.
We just heard three songs that address the state of our world this year. First, we heard Our Power with a poem by Nia Eckstein. Then we heard See My Friends Again by the community of young musicians at Soundscapes, a Carnegie Hall Play USA partner in Newport News, Virginia. And then you heard a performance of James T's Song of Redemption, Prometheus, performed by Robert Pollock. When we think about how the world has been impacted by the COVID-19 pandemic, it is helpful to remember that we've been through this kind of crisis before. At least, this is what composer Shi Chen was thinking when he embarked on a project to create a new score for excerpts of an informational film made during the 1918 flu pandemic. 
I'm so glad that we have Shi here and we can ask him about this directly. What inspired you to take on this creative project? So I found this silent film uh, based on the 1918 uh, Spanish flu pandemic and I found it really interesting so I decided to score it. And what are you hoping listeners will take away from your new score to this film? So basically I, I realized there's a lot of parallels to uh, the 1918 Spanish flu to um, the coronavirus we have now and um, I really feel like uh, it could uh, be like a wake-up call to everybody that um, history does repeat and uh, we should be um, more proactive about the future. Well, I can't wait to hear this. Here is Shi Chen's new score to footage from the archival film Dr. Wise on Influenza. Please enjoy. It's amazing how so many of these images feel so resonant, even today. Creators across the country are using music to voice their concerns, emotions, and sometimes even their hopes. We received so many submissions to this program and obviously couldn't include them all, but we were eager to share parts of some additional standout contributions. So here's a collage of songs by Gabe Johnson, Javi Polanco, Bryony Price, Amel Quesada, and Alexander Patry. Enjoy. Sisters to the right 
I've got our faces and colors to the right. I look to the left, and what do I see? My choices are them or me. Well, give me something to believe in. Give me something to believe Or give me something to believe in Why can't I believe in me? It was made through the efforts of a collective. But America is currently founded on hypocrisy. No. A dream chain. All men were supposed to be created equal, but we see that's not the case. Women and men were supposed to be equal, but that's not the case. The so-called American dream is denied for most Americans, as stereotypes push the minority further away from being human. No. In America, People are at each other's throats for having different ideas as America stands divided. We are here. We are here. We are here. And go. Desperate cries for men Soon they call for equity Ooh. Ooh. Small things I remember the sky from the days past and even the moon that came too soon. I remember the schools, the stores, the neighbors, and the smiles. I remember the music, the loud smelling food. I remember the parades, the parties, the fun. I remember the meetings, the trips, the planes. I remember the crowded trains where random things were always contained. Now all I could see is distant memories that feels like it's from a past that lost its knee. Wow, I miss the sun that shines and the freedom I gained, but then lost. I'm home now, confined in my own space, but it got me thinking a lot. Like I have too much time and I feel like I'm wasting life. It feels like I'm trapped, just staring at the world being slapped. I'm doing nothing. I can't leave my house, so I try to keep my adrenaline pumping. Desperate cries for men. Soon they call for equity. Another day goes by, still confined, but I go out for a walk. While I miss the sun that shines and the freedom I gained, but then lost. People.
Today I decided to turn on my TV. I had ordered pizza, ready to listen to the world, you see. The news is so depressing, people dying left and right, nothing getting better, I sighed. I changed the channel. To my surprise, I see a black man crying for his life in the hands of our racist friends. I wonder if this is society now. People dying from the men in blue and the disease that the government claims was small and simple. Then, when my head bowed down, I wonder, when will the sun shine and the freedom finally becomes mine? By Deborah Addison. People are dying, and you all keep on lying to stay in power for just another hour. Those who want America to fail are rejoicing, seeing us flail like a fish out of water, democracy gasping for air. Where is your conscience? Where are your morals? Where is God's teaching in all of this? Hypocrisy, greed, lies instead, stoking the anger and fear and dread of those who feel resentment. You deserve, but we don't. Instilling violence, will that solve our problems? No, it won't. There is too much pain, it is so insane. Stop spreading the hate, only to procrastinate what eventually will be. Justice for all, for you and for me. There is enough to go around. Only the few with money shouldn't get all the honey and keep their control over the soul of freedom. Keep the hope alive. Continue to strive for a better world for all, for God's creatures, big and small, where we can live with good health and share in the wealth. There is enough for everyone. We must not give up. Breathe in and out. Even if you want to shout, for there is much work to be done. Together, we can do this. We can all gain and get through our pain for humanity's sake. Walking walkers, steady as you go. No one else can know how long and windy is your road. Just to keep on walking walkers, steady as you go. And as you go, you are not alone. I'll be there to share your load. Keep healing, healers. Oh, the fight is bleeding. strong and we will hold you when you're weak just keep on healing healers when the fight is clean keep teaching teaching though we never will be patient to the king 
Vacation is love we haven't heard. Keep on teaching teachers that we never It would be understandable to feel upset by the world that we're all living in. All of the conflict and pain we see and feel is real and difficult. And yet, even as we face so many challenges, there are signs of hope and promise. I'm thrilled to welcome Boston-based Lily Honigberg, who is an alumna of the NYO USA and the composer of the next song, Sunrise Summit. There's an interesting story behind this song. Can you share it with us? So I wrote this tune, Sunrise Summit, as we were looking towards the new year of 2021, leaving behind 2020, which was a year of so many problems in the world, in this country. A lot of questions came up for artists, especially um, in, in my circle and in, in what I do uh, with life. And I wrote this tune as a reflection of the coming year. Well, thank you, Lily, and thank you for sharing your music and your hope for our future. Here is Sunrise Summit. Enjoy. Thank you. 
empatía Siente lo que siempre sientes Feel what you feel, always feel for you Empatía, empatía, empatía Siente lo que siempre sientes Feel what you feel, always feel for you Once all the smoke is clear from the wall of our open field I hope you can step into the point of view of my shoes You'll know why I chose to do what I do just to Make it through times not sweet, times not sweet like a food Empatia, empatia, siente lo que siempre sientes Feel what you feel, always feel for you Empatia, empatia, lejos de la fantasia Feel what you feel, always feel for you Authorities, swiss white, no peace Get cowardly when we fight these atrocities Ooh, ooh, ooh You claim to protect but you perform Hurting those who don't conform But wherever we go We make our dance floor As we close out the show today, I want to thank all of the songwriters from around the country who submitted their work to the In Response Project. Our community of creators and musicians is so powerful, and we're glad that you're a part of it. In Victory, vocalist Sarah Elizabeth Charles performs songwriter Alfred's moving ode to the African-American anthem, Lift Every Voice, as a way of connecting our current social justice movement with the civil rights movement of the 20th century. Thank you for spending your time with us today as we honor all of the visions that artists have in response to the world we live in. Stay strong and keep making music. Understand it by and by, and I wonder if 